In this video, we look at the formation of ferromanganese nodules, which form a massive resource of manganese, as well as other elements of economic interest, at the sea floor. Okay, so today we are on the oligotrophic uh, Pacific Ocean, where the swells are rolling, the albatrosses are flying, but most importantly, we're actually here to look at these guys. And what are these guys? These guys are manganese, or ferromanganese, um, chemical precipitates that form nodules on the seafloor of the deep oceans. If we break open one of these nodules, we can see that A, it is actually a potato, but B, more importantly, what is needed is a nucleus, which is typically a shell or a piece of sediment, around which the rest of the concretion or chemical precipitate can then subsequently grow. So this schematic gives you an overview of the growth of one of these manganese nodules at the sea floor in the deep ocean. The manganese is sourced predominantly from the underlying sediment layers, which are undergoing chemical changes as they undergo burial and what is termed diagenesis. So the manganese that is released from the pore waters is able to crystallize and grow as a poorly crystalline form of manganese oxyhydroxide around that nucleus or grain. It's not just manganese that is precipitating here, but also iron, which comes predominantly from the water column itself, and also a range of elements which can be of economic interest, including cobalt, nickel, copper, as well as the platinum group elements. Importantly, and I mentioned that term oligotrophic earlier, there cannot be any addition of organic carbon from the overlying biological activity in the photic zones. That's algae growth or phytoplankton growth in the area of the surface ocean where sunlight can penetrate. The reason for this is that organic carbon would sink to the bottom here, form a reducing agent which would destabilize the growth of these manganese nodules. In plan view, looking down from the surface towards the sea floor, what we note is that these nodules can form quite dense populations of manganese enrichments, along with all those other metals of economic interest. In fact, in some of the most densely populated areas, you can get on the order of 100 nodules, each the size of a, of a potato, per meter squared of sea floor. So the ocean's a beautiful place and of course we don't necessarily want to come out here and mine it and disturb the ecosystem um, and that's one of the reasons why up till now we haven't actually started mining uh, manganese nodules on the seafloor. Other reasons for not mining these nodules currently include the fact that they generally form in deep water settings beyond the bounds of a country's exclusive economic zone and thus there's no legislature that exists to govern this and number two that the technological advancements are not necessarily there to enable that you can feasibly mine these deposits and economically. If you've enjoyed this video, and importantly, if you've learned something from it, like it, share it, and then remember to come study Earth Sciences at Selimos University.